The Los Angeles Police Department is facing tough questions about the death of a school teacher. Body cam footage shows he died after officers repeat repeatedly used a stun gun to restrain him. Heather Graff reports. Keenan, he, he had an immediate impact on our school community. He had amazing relationships with our scholars. They consistently commented on how he made them feel known, loved, and respected. That is how Mache Ashton believes 31-year-old Keenan Anderson should be remembered, telling 7 News she hired him about six months ago to work as a 10th grade English teacher here at Digital Pioneers Academy in Southeast Washington. He was a father, he was an educator, he was a professional, he was a human. Meanwhile, the co-founder of Black Lives Matter also shared on Instagram that Anderson was her cousin, as Los Angeles police this week released body camera footage from the day he died while visiting family in California. Hey, stop right there! Yeah. Get up against the wall! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to! Get up against the wall! The January 3rd interaction with LAPD began after Anderson was allegedly involved in a traffic collision. The first officer on the scene calling him a possible DUI driver and asking for backup. Come here, I don't want you in the road. But things escalate quickly. The video shows Anderson appearing to run, then ordered to the ground, and a struggle ensues as additional officers arrive on the scene. At one point, Anderson can be heard saying, they're trying to George Floyd me. Help! Help! Stop it, I'm gonna tase you. Stop it, I'm gonna tase you. I'm gonna tase you. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Turn over. We're stopping the video here because what follows is disturbing to watch, with an officer tasing Anderson repeatedly. He was taken to the hospital, but LAPD says Anderson suffered a medical emergency and died about four hours later. We are grieving. Grieving, Ashton wrote in a statement she shared on the school's website here in D.C., but they're also angry. We're angry because we have so many questions. How could this situation have been de-escalated? How could we... Um, avoid these circumstances going forward. Uh, no one deserves to be treated in the horrifying manner that Keenan was treated.